Hello and welcome to our video cast on the new Somatic S7-1200 Compact Controller. My name is Paul Rulin from Siemens Industry in the USA and this is the first of a multi-part series on our S7-1200. This is going to focus on the first time out of the box experience with the S7-1200 and the new Step 7 basic programming software. Our programming task for today is going to be a simple start-stop sealant circuit which is common in almost every PLC or automation controller project. First, we're going to auto detect and configure the hardware over Ethernet without having to set up any communications beforehand. Uh, we're going to program our simple start stop sealant circuit using tag based uh, symbols and not have to worry about any kind of addressing or syntax convention. And then, we're going to drag and drop those tag elements to the physical I.O. addresses in the graphical I.O. configuration field. And with this, we're using an S7-1200 with uh, two switches wired to the inputs and a pilot light in the output. And this is a common first-time type of setup that someone may do on their uh, desk or bench to get familiar with a brand-new controller. So with that, we'll go over to our S7-1200 Step 7 Basic uh, Totally Integrated Automation Portal. And this is the portal view, where it's an easy method of getting started. It walks you through creating a new project, opening existing, or going directly online. For this particular demonstration, we're going to create a new project. We're going to leave the default name, Project 1, and just hit Create, and have it assemble all the elements for a new project, and walk us through uh, the detection of the hardware. From this point, we can configure a device, and we'll do that. And then we'll add a new device. And the connected device, we don't have to know what it is, a PLC and HMI. This has logic as well as HMI, visualization, and networking all in one software. But uh, in this particular case, we're just going to detect from an unspecific CPU. We're not going to have to look up what its part number is or tell the software what it's connected to. And simply add that to the I.O. configuration. And then proceed with the auto detect to bring the hardware into the graphical framework that's shown here. So if we detect it, it's going out over Ethernet and it's not worried about what the IP address of the PC is that's connected to it or the IP address of the controller. It'll bring anything up on the subnet of that particular LAN according to the MAC address and then you're able to load it right from here. And If you had several controllers, you can specify which one you wanted to load into the configuration uh, for your new project. So now it's bringing in the whole rack of I.O. or any type of additional specialty modules or devices that are part of the S7-1200 or the HMI system and it brings it up into a graphical view and you can uh, zoom in and it's all contact sensitive you can see the properties of each of the devices this is the CPU and you have the ability to um, put any preferences right here without having to even configure any logic you can go in and change the Ethernet address of the port or um, give it a different subnet mask. There's a serial module that happens to be in this particular configuration. We can do port configuration right from here. Anything that you want to do to make preferences without having to do any logic can be done right from the configuration view. So to get started with our programming, we're going to go right to the main programming block and drag and drop our logic in. So we're going to put a normally open for the start, normally close for the stop. We're going to put our output coil there, and then we're going to put our CLIN circuit. And see, it's all drag drop. There was no typing. There was no other editors. And from this point, I'll just give it uh, my own labels for tags, not worrying about any type of address convention or um, syntax that is necessary. And our CLIN will be this normally open contact of that same output. So there's our traditional start-stop sealant circuit. And then from this point, I'm just going to float this window over top of my loaded configuration and then just drag and drop these elements to the address. Because I know from my hardwired system that's right in front of me, I have uh, my start button right on this particular uh, terminal block. So I'm going to bring start right over to that. And I don't need to know what the address is there or, you know, is it I's, is it O's, is it X's or Y's. Same thing with my stop. I know if I have it wired to that second terminal on that bank of inputs. And then with my output, I'm going to bring it right over to this, which is the third output in that particular bank of outputs. So I was able to, you know, bring over these elements right to my I.O. configuration without opening a manual, without having to figure out what the syntax of the addressing. And then it aligned the real addressing with my tag elements. 
and populated my tag database. So from this point, I'm just going to download directly to it, and it already knows from my detected configuration that communication link is already established, and it's able to compile. And if the particular PLC is already in run mode, it tells me I can put it in stop mode before loading, walks me through the whole loading procedure without having to go to any other um, dialogues or set up any other preferences for um, loading this to the controller. And then from this point, I can go online, um, turn on my monitoring, I can test my logic without having to go into any other editor or any preferences that are necessary just to see the online um, highlighted circuit and power flow. And as that comes up, we can see that our conditions are open. When I turn on my start switch, it seals in that circuit, and I can remove my start switch as if it was a push button. It still has my output light active, and then I can break the connection with the normally closed stop button or push button, and then my circuit is complete, fully tested, and available for running. So, with that, summary of the benefits of uh, getting started with our new S7-1200 controller in the Step 7 Basic, you can see auto detection for all S7-1200 HMI devices on the network. It was able to detect everything was connected, no time-consuming setup for communications or hardware configuration. I was able to drag and drop tags to the physical hardwired I.O. connection without having to know what data type, syntax, or look up any addressing conventions. Uh, User-friendly software interface, easy navigation, you know, minimal typing, point, click, connect, reduce any possible errors. Uh, the overall system capability, it is one programming software, one user program for logic, HMI, and networking. Reduces engineering time, costs easier to maintain, easier to reuse. And with all Siemens uh, products, they're worldwide approved, accepted across the industry. These are designed on S7 core technologies, future-proof, sustainable, easier for customers to standardize and benefit. Thank you for viewing this webcast and hope you will view future webcasts in this series.